believe medical marijuana could be an effective treatment for children with autism. The drug is non-euphoric, so kids won't be getting high. And under Amendment 2, doctors should be able to order it for patients. But there's a possible hurdle in the way. You can hear 16-year-old Eric Seiper's mom in the background encouraging her son, Eric, who has autism and is nonverbal. Good job. Most of his days are good ones, but when behavioral outbreaks happen, his world spirals quickly. He's completely unreachable when he is having a panic attack. I can't communicate with him. He might throw himself at a wall. He might break something. He might throw things. Leslie Seiper shared these pictures with me of the aftermath and this Facebook post of what happened when she was caught in the crosshairs. Tampa pediatrician Dr. David Berger feels certain medical marijuana could help patients like Eric on the spectrum. Many patients with autism, for instance, will have either chronic insomnia or significant anxiety or panic attacks. The same symptoms people with PTSD suffer from who are now eligible for medical marijuana under the Compassionate Care Act. The way the law reads, Dr. Berger should legally be able to order medical marijuana for people with autism. But there could be a snag. There's a push to have each case go before the Florida Board of Medicine first. The Board of Medicine is not in the consultation with us. They're not assessing the patient on a one-to-one -one basis like we are. They're trying to take it out of the hands of the physician, which is not what Amendment 2 says. Cyper is frustrated as to why she can't get her hands on non-euphoric medical marijuana. But it's okay for doctors to prescribe antipsychotic medication with potentially dangerous side effects for her son. I'm not using the mainstream medications that are out there for drugging him up because I don't want that for him. Now, there is a way for you to have a voice when it comes to helping parents and their children get the medications that they need. The Florida Department of Health is holding a rulemaking session across the state, and there is one happening in Tampa this Wednesday. I've put all the information that you need to know on WFLA.com. But um, since Leslie's son is nonverbal, she doesn't know if the antipsychotic medications are triggering side effects that he mm. can't express to her, like depression, right. feelings of suicide. So she just wants to try something different without any roadblocks in the way. And this is a bit more natural, which I guess sure. a lot of parents are saying, hey, why don't we just use a plant instead of uh, chemicals? Right, and it's right. non-euphoric. So again, the children are not getting high. Yeah, interesting. All right.